morning guys it's saturday morning say what's up say hey how you doing what's up where are we going this morning <laughs> yes we're going to okay then you want your muffins yeah royal highness you say right. yes or no? No. So okay. we are on the way to the pumpkin patch this morning. I am excited because this is the third year that Asher has gone to the pumpkin patch. Yeah? Yeah? Technically four. Oh, technically four. Technically four. Because he went when he was a little Yeah, he did go when he was a weedle, 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 weedle baby. Yeah? I was not. Yes, you Mama were. I got pictures. I'm going to do oh, like a time. No. Mama got proof. Here, hold this camera right here. Mama got proof oh, of you, boy. Guys. Yeah, Mama got. Mama got proof. Are you excited? Hey, are you excited? I'm excited. All right, well, let's go. All right, ready? On your mark. What? What do you want? Oh, you want? Oh, you want this open? Yes. All right, come on, your mark. Say. You want this open? Yeah. Okay. Mr. President, back here. Open. So it's a, it's chilly outside. Actually, it's not that chilly. Well, I'm kind of hot headed anyway. Oh, yeah, on your Can mark. All the way. Hey, on your mark. Lighter when it warms. Get set. Can you open all the way, Daddy? Yes, Your Highness. Yes, Your Highness. But anyway, it's been a crazy week this week. It's been a good, crazy week. But I'm glad we get to spend some family time together because we desperately need some family time, don't we, honey? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Yeah, I've been gone all week this week, like every night this week, except for maybe, what, Thursday night? I was up at the church. Yeah. Yeah, so this is like the first time in this entire week that I've actually had time with Laura and Asher. <laughs> so, figured we'd do something family friendly, which is the pumpkin patch. Mr. Pumpkin Patch over here. Yeah? You ready? All right. But before we go to the pumpkin patch, your father needs caffeine, okay? So, I don't know what is going on with Starbucks vanilla frappuccinos, but they come in that little glass, those glass bottles, and um, they have been out for like the past, like, several weeks. And I can't, months. for months, yeah, here, hold this a second. So I have literally been trying to find these um, Starbucks frappuccinos and I can't find them anywhere, guys. That's like, like it is so time. bad. It is so bad. And I'm getting annoyed because this is how I maintain my caffeine intake every day. And so I've been like hand making caffeine, um, I mean coffee, at home, and it has not been a pretty situation. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. So anyway, I'm on my quest for coffee today, but we're gonna swing by Kroger so I can get Laura to run in for me and grab me some coffee. And then we're gonna go to the pumpkin patch, okay? Yeah? Okay. okay. All right guys, so we have made it to the pumpkin patch and I have coffee in my system now, which is good. But man, let me tell you guys, this thing is really cool. You have, you have all these, um, Blow up bounce houses here. You got pumpkins over here. Um, look at all these pumpkins. There's like pumpkins galore all over the place. Like goodness gracious. So we're gonna let little man wear himself out um, for a little while. We've been wanting to, Lloyd's been wanting to bring him here for a little bit. So hopefully this will wear his butt out for the day. So anyway, let's go have some fun. So Asher is completely obsessed with this tractor. Last year he remembers doing the hayride and he is desperate to do it again. But the guy's gonna be here in about 30 minutes or so. So hopefully we'll get a hayride in today. The there he goes, bye.
Dude, what are you doing, man? Oh, look, it looks up. Yeah, I know it does. Hey, we're not gonna buy everything from Target today, buddy. All right, so we uh, decided to go to um, Target because we have a quest for coffee. Yes, coffee. I desperately need coffee. Well, I know that they have a Starbucks here. I have a gift card. A gift card for what? Oh, no, 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 no. I was talking about coffee, honey. Coffee. Well, anyways. All right, honey, buddy, let's go this way. Come on. You want to go down this way first? Let's go down this way first. See, you, look, you're so short, you can't even see over the basket. Just going blindly. Hopefully we'll mom will see. save me. Hopefully mommy will save me. When your kid is like so stinking stubborn that they won't. Which way did you want to go? Which way did you want to go? Ow. I just got ran into you. I'm going to go find daddy. You need to go straight. Yeah. Oh, look at this kid. Look at this kid. Oh, don't let Asher get any ideas. Asher, that is not a real person. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, maybe they have jackets here. Kids' jackets. All right, so we have finally made it home, and I've got, I've got, uh, I can't move. I got this dude. Was all we're talking about Jesus stuff. Yeah, yeah. So the Jesus stuff that I was about to talk to him about was how God was impressed with Solomon's response on his God's question. God asked, "Well." Ask, ask of me anything. Anything. Keep in mind, God literally said, ask me for anything, and I will give it to you. So, what was Solomon's response? Wisdom. Wisdom. And then the Bible says that God was pleased. Some translations say that God was, God was um, taken back, taken, taken back or surprised or impressed. And I was just telling Travis, like, it's... Which is even more crazy because he knew... Exactly. Solomon was going to ask. That, that, that's my thing. Like, you can't <laughs> give God an answer for something he already knows. Did it ever so, occur to you that nothing occurs to God? Well, yes. I did know that. <laughs> yes. But why does the Bible say that God was so, like, impressed? I or astounded? I think it's a, a way to show us that um, God does relate to our human feelings are human thoughts because where do our human thoughts emotions feelings come from right they right. come from god so right even though it says that god was taken back or god was impressed or shocked or whatever translation you want to use it's 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 just showing that you know we still can impress god even though he knew what the the answer was going to be it still it gives us that slight glimpse to be able to relate to the father right sometimes we feel like god's up here in this realm and he's this old man that's just kind of sitting there on a cloud yeah like, what baby hmm, what am i going Let's to do, do that. today right right but right. um it definitely makes it a lot more relatable right no i'm with you what i find interesting though to be honest with you what i find interesting is that i don't know i i feel like there's not an answer that you can give God that he doesn't already know. But I feel like that God was impressed because he kind of knew all the scenarios that Solomon was going to choose. But I think that, in my mind, I'm thinking that maybe he was impressed or taken aback by Solomon's request. Because he literally looked at Solomon and said, I could give you anything. Anything you want, ask for it and I'll give it to you. And then this humble young kid who barely has any kingly experience is like, 
I need wisdom to govern your people. So give me wisdom. And, and not only that, but think about who was Solomon's father. Right, right. Right? Right. You know, like, of all of the things that you could have asked for or yeah. been or yeah. whatnot. And, and who Solomon's father was, that, like, that's like, like Yeah, yeah. And then God's like, well, hey, there's not going to be anybody, there's not going to be anybody more wise than you before you or after you. But then God puts people on this earth like, you know, Robbie Zacharias or William Lane Craig or Albert R Einstein. or Albert Einstein <laughs> or R.C. Sproul. Like God puts these people on this earth. They give logical, wise responses to some of life's most difficult questions. And I'm like, God, were you really serious that there would be nobody wiser than Solomon before and after him? You know, it's just, it's just mind boggling, you know. So I think we like, also only got a glimpse of Solomon's wisdom. Right, right. All we know of Solomon's wisdom is what got written down. Right, right. True, true. Facts, facts. Yeah, I, I think the story about the two women and the one baby, you know, that, that was mind blowing. Just even looking at that passage of scripture and... Solomon's like, okay, saw the baby in half and let one woman have one half and the other woman the other half. And, you know, that was good. That was really wise on his part as he revealed through his decision who the real mother was. You know, because that woman was like, no, 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 no. She can have the child. She can have the baby. Just please don't harm the baby. You know, like, wow, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty crazy. In my mind, that's, that's, that's mind blowing, you know, um, but yeah, I just think that God is impressed. It's kind of it's kind of dumb and stupid at the same time. Yeah, yeah, it's like an oxymoron. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, our kids are, are out here playing. You guys are probably like, do you guys spend every weekend together? Almost. Almost. What? What did you just say? Oh, no, I didn't say this time. Say what? It wasn't me this time. Say what? Say what? Wow. Oh, that was mean and hateful. Okay, okay, before I give you this, you need to go over there and lay down. Wow.